In the wilderness of Rocky Mountains, when the winter is approaching, mysterious happenings occur. These occurrences can involve vandalism of the property and disappearance of food. Special detectives investigate the situations. These dedicated detectives are members of an elite squad known as Mao Elite Investigation Unit. This is a story from Detective Nini. She's our most experienced investigator. In the dry month, we like to play this game involving little sacks and a folding board with a hole in it. The sacks are either filled with corn or they're filled with sand. And the idea is to get those little sacks in a hole. One full morning, Detective Nanny was called to a crime scene. She discovered it, the cornhole game was destroyed. Who could have done this? Straight away she noticed that the corn filled sacks were no longer filled with corn. But interestingly, the sand filled bags were still filled with sand. Who did this? Nanny wondered. It. What is the smell? The scent of somebody lingering in a devastation that was left behind. Nanny was going to solve this mystery. The next day, she found another crime scene. The heavy horse feed barrel was tipped over and the feed was spilled out. Again, Nanny could smell the culprit. The metal hoop that clipped the lid on the barrel had been bent out of shape and torn off. Aha! There is my first suspect, she shouted. Nini was very determined to solve these crime scenes. Nearby the crime scenes, Nini noticed some strange footprints in the mud. Who was this visitor? Could they have been involved in the mysterious happenings? And when it snowed, she saw them again. They had walked along the middle of the road. There were all the prints in the snow too. Oh, those prints are mine, she said. Let's concentrate on the case. I'm not a suspect. Nini got very serious about the case. It was time to step up the game. Every day Nini was regularly patrolling the area in the search of clues. The autumnal days were beautiful. Several days went by with still no signs of anyone. It seemed that maybe the culprit only came out at dark, only at night. The long quiet days gave time to consider lots of her ideas. Nini's favorite author Agatha Christie famously said, unless you are good at guessing, it's not much use being a detective. Nini had some high-tech equipment to put into use. It was time to set up her nighttime surveillance. She was getting tired on the job and needed her beauty sleep, so she would let the cameras be her eyes through the night.
The next morning, Nini was awake and excited. She was going to retrieve the cameras and hope to find the criminal on the camera footage. We brought the cameras in. Nini was in a hurry to see what had been happening in the night. She wanted to view her suspects immediately. Put the memory card in at once, she demanded. Nini began delightedly reviewing the surveillance footage. There were many suspects here. Let's see. There goes a jumpy rabbit and a lonely wolf. A stinky skunk. Goosey goosey gander. Is that two magpies? One for sorrow, two for joy? A tricky fox. Oh, wait, who is this? A Bigfoot? Those feet look familiar. Let me compare the sprint, she said. The prints are matching. Nina got excited. Who do those prints belong to? It's a grizzly bear. Goodness gracious. There are bears all over our camera footage. Lots of them. It looks like they are rolling and having lots of fun. Nini had to think and process this information. Our surveillance cameras captured different bears. There were young ones rolling, all the big ones. There was even a mama and her cubs. We have whole families enjoying rolling here at night. Nanny likes to roll too. In fact, all of the members of MAU unit like to roll. So Nini submitted her report about her investigation. So the grizzlies like to have fun. They don't have a good vision, they don't have a good hearing, but they have extraordinary uh, sense of smell. Their uh, sensing abilities are a thousand times stronger than ours. For them, by their smelling abilities, they can obviously tell when the danger is near, or if another animal is approaching, or if food is close by. But also smells can be very relaxing for them, uh, like grass cuttings or manure. They love it. It's like a catnip for bears.
It's the way they spend their time for relaxing alone or with family. The smells plays a huge part in their recreational life. It's like they do it for entertainment. Sometimes it's like they are dancing with joy at the smells surrounding them. Our game camera footage shows that they will literally do this for several hours at a time. And they find all kinds of positions to get all parts of their body smelling wonderfully of manure or whatever else they like. It's uh, similar to what relaxing music does to us. It makes us feel uplifted, at ease and uh, happy. Look at this guy, it's like he's conducting a symphony. It's like he's in a meditative state. No wonder that they get tired and took naps there too. And similar to us, after the party we get hungry. Which explains loss of our horse feed and the corn in our game. They will sniff out and seek whatever kind of food they can catch scent of. In a, in a bear country, it is extremely important to avoid feeding bears by accident. Uh, bears are really strong. Grizzlies are strong, they are smart, they are intelligent, and they have a dexterity to figure out how to break into food sources. So we must try to avoid making it easy for them. Any food we have must be bear-proof and secure to avoid attracting the bears. The case is solved. Detective Nini is resting.